Ladies and gentlemen, now in Nino Kuni Crossworlds, you've got two different types of gacha for weapons and armor. And the whale one and kind of the special banner is this one here, which takes gems and also equipment summon tickets. Now, even as a free to play, like I've still managed to get, I think about like 10, 20 summons on this so far. Uh, and this one has substantially higher drop rates in comparison to the other gacha that we're gonna have a look at at the moment. So this one for four star weapons and armor, you actually have a total of a 4% drop rate and you can see there's also a very small percent chance like a 0.05% on four star shinies as well and in comparison to the um uh, what is it regular four star weapons uh these have like additional base stats so we can see like a normal one is like 486 uh but then the uh the shiny one is 540 so again very nice and also like additional bonus effects if we have a look at the uh the shadow one down here um, it does have an additional 12.5% damage to opponents in PvP. So yeah, this stuff, man, I think when it's like fully maxed out, because again, this has like a fusing system as well. Like, you know, we talked about this in the review earlier, uh, at least from what I can understand and observe about this game so far, like it's going to be very RNG driven and very pay to win at the, um, uh, the super sweaty tears of endgame so yeah there's just gacha upon gacha but kind of the core thing to understand about the paid banner is this one for four star equipment has a four percent drop rate and for three star equipment in comparison has a 36 percent drop rate um, now you need to bear in mind as a new player like three star equipment and weapons are very very good However, it's a very bad idea to waste any gems at all on this banner Because what you're gonna find in the uh, the capital city and this man has been a bit swamped um uh, literally, this is dead a second ago, but there is a, a pigeon man under this giant pile here. Uh, literally of just <laughs> incredibly large mounts. Uh, but yeah, th this guy uh, essentially has like a, a built-in gacha system that runs off a lot of the resources that you get via playing daily. Uh, especially the quick to complete, uh, what is it, light green daily quests that also give you a ton of experience as well. Uh, and yeah, you can just do like massive gacha summons, literally in stacks of 100 here but in comparison to the um uh, the paid version for four star items and also that very very small chance for a four star shiny as well it, it's got a, a 0.5 percent drop rate in comparison to four percent however again uh, at least on my free to play account these tickets have been dropping like candy currently on the korean version again it might be a little bit scaled back when it does come to the global release i'm not entirely sure there um but again you got a 0.5 percent um on a four star weapon um and also uh almost a 10 percent drop rate you got 9.5 there uh, on the three star weapons so you know very roughly speaking one in every 10 someone should be a three star piece of equipment so it means like you know in the current state of the korean and japanese version and again this might be the same as global global might be a little bit set back like it's very easy to get um uh, three star weapons and equipment uh, early on and also upgrade and fuse them so yeah make sure if you're starting out tomorrow uh, you do not upgrade uh, one or two star weapons um, with you know valuable resources to kind of take them up to the next tier or else that's going to be a huge huge waste there so yeah very easy to get three star weapons but unfortunately there aren't three star shinies but then a lot of the additional stuff is going to be two star weapons and one star weapons but these are still useful for kind of fusing on top of each other in order to gain achievements as well and then when it comes to armor i think it's the um uh what is it the same drop rate so yeah anything uh four star you got like a 0 0.5 percent uh and then three star you have a 9.5 percent drop rate but they also do have a pity system in this one as well uh which i believe means every like 200 summons regardless of whether or not you actually pull a four star uh you get a four star guaranteed and i think at least to the best of my knowledge and i might be a little bit off on this i don't know if i've like exactly summoned on um 
uh, what is it, both of the banners. But I, I think the pity system might be shared, but I may be incorrect. We're going to find that out like very shortly. Uh, so yeah, let's start off. Um, and again, the resources you have are like slightly different, so they don't overlap with each other. So it's kind of not a choice of like, oh, I have to go for the weapons or the armor. And the really good thing as well about all of these resources is that they're shared across the entire account. So just something to keep in mind there. Uh, but yeah, let's start on the uh, the armor here. And I think we're, we're actually just gonna go for a stack of, uh, I think 50 to start us off. Yeah, yeah, let's go for that. And just see how it works there. So I think we're actually going to get over that threshold. We're going to get something guaranteed kind of three star here as well. So let's have a bit of a look. I think there is a, a chance to get something three star. I was going to say rare, but actually, no, that's not going to happen. I think you just get like a rare box, which gives you like slightly upgraded odds here. Or like a chance to gain the shinies, but that is that is very underwhelming. Again, in these boxes, man, there's a lot of trash. Okay, that was actually really, really good. We got three three-star helmets. And again, we can fuse those to kind of upgrade the uh, the base power and three stars, you know. As free to play is, is going to be the stuff that you're searching for day one. But if you get those four-star, all the four-star shinies, again, the drop rate is very, very low. But there are going to be some jammy people that get it, man. So yeah, it looks like they're actually shared across uh, banners, which is actually something really, really interesting. So I think what we'll do here is we'll actually go for um uh what is it? Just just another 50. And then I think we'll go for like 50 weapons after this. <laughs> and then we should be able to get our very first four-star weapon. So I I'm looking forward to that, Matt. If it's a four-star shiny, that would be good. But I I'd also kind of like that the you know drop rate is so incredibly low on a four-star shiny that I'd rather save that luck for um uh, the global version tomorrow because again as, as soon as global comes out man i'm probably not going to be playing the uh, <laughs> korean version again but i just wanted to do this video today to kind of test out the gacha system and just show you like how uh easy it is to get lots of summons um on kind of both equipment and also weapons early on and i think we're already going to see in the equipment gacha uh you know that that three star drop rate is um Pretty absurd, but the four star is going to come, so we got a three star nature one there. Okay, we got we got a golden lucky one, and didn't really yield much. We got one three star fire one there. So again, on average, like one every, uh, get yeah, one three star every ten stack. Uh, okay, we got another fire one. Again, all the additional dupes are very, uh, very useful for merging. Is this the one where you get guaranteed four star? Okay, nice, we actually got the light gun there. So yeah, that's that's cool, man, that's cool. Okay, not one of the basic elements, but um, yeah, we'll, we'll certainly take it. So that was the pity. Um, and there we go. So I think as well, uh, like some stuff might have got like auto squished because of our, I think our inventory filling up. Yeah, that was it. So you gotta make sure, like ideally, you actually don't wanna do all of these summons all in one, because <laughs> I think some some of the lower stuff got a little bit dusted. But then kind of the plan after, um, you know, doing this is to essentially like merge everything uh, that you don't need. Um, and I'll kind of just show you how to do that as well, because merging stuff is gonna give you like additional achievements. So here, if we like merge this, actually, let's go down to, which tab is it for the merge here? So you can like merge three of them, 100% chance to uh, kind of take that one up. And what that's going to do, kind of taking this one to the, the third uh, level of merging, um, although we're not going to be using this weapon, there's like a whole set of achievements um, in the game that basically there's like stuff like this, which is like uh, summon on a certain amount of stuff and upgrade a certain amount of stuff. So yeah, the account-wide achievements, there's loads of stuff there. But going into, I think it's the book here. Oh, actually, no, this is just for the collection on this one. Sorry, there are so many tabs, and I, I literally can't read Korean without Google Translate. But getting these additional pieces of um, uh, armor and also upgrading them as well uh, gives your account, like, base stats, which apply to every single character. So here, that was just for, like, a couple of bits of uh, armor that we got. We should be going down. You can see, uh, you know, we merged that water gun. So that literally now unlocks that achievement, which gives all of my characters 128 health. And then if we upgrade it to, uh, what is it? 
seven, then it's 257. And if we get 10 duplicates on it, uh, then yeah, it's uh, 428. So you can see, um, once all of this stuff is compounded, these are like massive, massive stat bonuses in the wider picture of stuff, and it really does add up. So yeah, kind of looking down here, again, there is just like thousands of health and thousands of attack and all sorts of additional stats. Um, so yeah, this game kind of really makes you, um, what is it? want to collect everything and fuse it because if you don't then stat wise you are at a disadvantage and again we talked about this in my review of the game if you're like a big gacha fan and you love you know spinning the wheel and seeing the items pop up uh then yeah you're absolutely gonna love this stuff but if you hate kind of the uh you know constant fusing and micromanagement of all your resources um an inventory then yeah i can get why this is going to be a little bit of a pain in the ass um because again there's just so many free summons and so much stuff that you get however again it could be a little bit reduced on the global version but eventually this is the state that it will work toward uh but anyway what we're going to do is we're going to fuse some of the stuff just quickly off video i uh, won't bore you too much with it and then we'll come back and do kind of the final stack of summons there is so much armor upgrading man it's absolutely nuts but uh, yeah, I've, I've literally got like 20 hats here as well. But if we add in multiple here, let's go for that. Hey, we got we got the upgrade on that one. So yeah, there, there's a, a lot of doing this stuff. Just to give you a quick speedy look at, um, you know, what this entire process is like. But again, you can add uh, multiple of a certain item to a stack just to ensure that upgrade there. And uh, let's go for the hats. Where are the hats there? Okay, fantastic. I think, like, after this, we should have, like, enough uh, space freed up. There we go. That's more hats. So the thing is, like, even when you don't get gear that's good, and this is, like, I don't, I don't know, maybe, like, a pro, maybe a con, but, like, even if you don't get uh, some of the best gear, you'll still get, like, bonus rewards and bonus stats from the achievements from upgrading that so like another 155 health there so yeah it, i guess like what it does uh, to a certain extent even though um this i think will be perceived by some players as annoying is it kind of just you know makes most summoning sessions meaningful because at least there's some sort of upgrade that you can get you know via the achievement system or merging stuff so yeah, anyway, let's go for uh, the final weapon summons. Actually, I think we got 100 that we can do here. Do I actually have enough space in my inventory for 100? I don't think so. Let's let's just go for 50 here. Again, so I think space is like one of the most annoying things um, uh, so far, at least in the, uh, the free-to-play experience. I think if I wanted to do this optimally, um, yeah, I, I, you know, it doesn't matter, man. I'm, I'm really going to be playing this account, uh, past tomorrow. So, you know what? We'll, we'll just drill in the full 100. And hopefully, if we get anything really good, it just doesn't break it. Uh, okay, that was, that was rubbish, man. That stack was actual booty cheeks. Come on, mate. Let's see that four-star shiny. A four-star shiny is going to pop up, and that's going to be, like, dusted. That one was really good, actually. We got three three-star weapons. So, again, for the merges absolutely outstanding and then we got a uh a three star flame gun there so yeah just like this just puts into perspective um if you're a new player don't summon for the three star weapons on the regular banner because yeah it just doesn't make sense man that banner i think is for pretty much whales only especially when it comes to gems i mean there's going to be a few free tickets on there now and again just just to get you hooked just to give you that little um that little enticement in. But yeah, three stars via the system. They really do drop like candy. A couple of three star weapons. We've got a water and light gun there. But, uh, you know, you've, you've got to appreciate the, uh, what is it? The Vegas slot sound effects <laughs> that they, they've added in. They're, they know their, their audience of degenerate gamblers here. And yeah, some of that stuff converted back as well. So uh, you, you can also set it up, um, you know, if you get to a certain point when you've already like merged out and maxed out uh, all of the one star weapons, you can get to a point uh, where you can just like auto convert them into resources and gain like a little bit back so you can uh, summon a bit more as well. So yeah, eventually it kind of does spiral, um, you know, once you've 
uh, done all the upgrades for achievement purposes, it then transitions into that point where you can just like roll over your bad rolls and kind of compound them into, you know, more rolls to get that like guaranteed four star. Um, so yeah, eventually, even as free to play, there are ways to uh, what is it? Get those four star weapons, get additional copies and upgrade them. But, you know, just bear in mind the the whales, man, they're going to be ripping, I would assume, um, uh, fairly heavily. Uh, this banner, which has like a much higher drop rate, you've got like a, a pity uh, on this banner. Sorry, I didn't explain how it works. And my big head's in the way here. But it's uh, at 100, you get like guaranteed uh, four star. And then I think at 200, it's guaranteed four star shiny. Um, so yeah, a, a very, uh, very enticing thing to get whales to drop a large amount of their disposable income on this banner. Uh, but anyway, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you enjoyed today's summons video, having a look at the free-to-play summon system in Nino Kuni, and hopefully it gave you a bit of insight into, um, uh, what to expect for the global version tomorrow. But thank you all very much for watching, take care, and I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. You are not subscribed to the whale sin of spending? Who decided that? Subscribe now or enjoy the bitter taste of regret.